today's video is all about this beautiful add-on card for the, for the Blizzard 1230 MK4 Turbo Board Accelerator card. Now, if we just take this one off, really easy. <laughs> there we go. Let's just look at this one first. This card was really popular here in Denmark. When I buy Amiga, 4, Amiga 1200s, this exact MK4 is included with them most of the time. So here in Denmark, we love Commodore and these cards are pretty common from what I have seen for the last two years that I have been, uh, you know, an Amiga user. This is one of the best 030 cards you can buy for your Amiga 1200. Some says it's the best. I also like the ACA products from individual computers, but man, this is just, this works. It's beautiful. It's such a nice product. Phase 5, Blizzard 1230 MK4 from 1995. It just works, man. And it has got the Motorola 030 processor running at 50 megahertz. You have battery backup. You have the opportunity to install 128 megabytes of fast RAM on this board. Isn't that crazy? Back in 1995, you can put in FPU here also, if you're into that. So all in all, a really, really nice card, guys. So on top of that, you can actually You can actually install this lovely, lovely add-on card. And as you can see up here, it says Blizzard SCSI MK4. And what this little add-on does, uh, as you can see, just it slides in here. <laughs> Simple stuff. This is for the protection, so it doesn't short anything. Um, so what this does is actually, as you can see here, we have the cable to connect SCSI for the Amiga 1200 and also install another additional 128 megabytes of fast RAM. As you can see here, these two cards came together like did this with, you know, identical 64 mix of RAM each. And I'm telling you guys, I've used this combination for about a year back in 19, uh, back in 2019. Oh man, I wish it was 1995 I had these, <laughs> but no. Um, and it it just works, man. I, I wish uh, I wish I had this solution in a tower because it could be nice with some sort of cooling because. All this stuff built in this beautiful little Amiga 1200 case uh, with heat and stuff like that. I don't know. It, it works. It works fine, but it gets hot in there, guys. Yeah. So let's just um, to take a quick look at this beauty. So we have documented it on YouTube because my passion is really to show and document as much Amiga stuff as possible, guys. So this one says dcecom.de. Yeah, man. Made in Germany by DC. So DC Computer uh, took over where Blitzart left off and produced some of their stuff later. So this is maybe, I don't know, maybe from 96 or when when that happened. So let's just go in and, and, and see how, how it performs, how it scores how nice a product it is guys i uh, i really like this one the blizzard 1230 mk4 and its add-on card with 64 megabytes of fast ram on each device boots fine works great as you can see on the right side we have loaded cannon fodder from the floppy drives works perfect but uh, when you buy a standard Amiga 1200, it will score about one dry stone in System 4. 
So let's just go ahead and uh, load this info and see how much of a performance boost we get. Because when you buy a 1200, you will get 2 megabyte chip RAM, you will get 68 EC020 processor running at 14 megahertz. Now we have installed the Blizzard um, 1230 card with an 030 processor running at 50 megahertz. And having map ROM activated so the kickstart is loaded into the RAM it boots faster it gives a pretty, pretty nice performance boost and with the card and the add-on card it has 128 megabytes of fast RAM so let's just go ahead and load system for 4.0 and see how it scores all right, guys, let's just go ahead and load SysInfo 4.0 from the floppy drive on the lovely Amiga, 4, uh, lovely Amiga 1200. There we go. Okay, SysInfo um, 4.0, as we all know. Beautiful program. So let's make a speed test here. And see that with this lovely Blizzard card, it scores about 8,600 dry stones. Beautiful. Nine MIPS and M flops not available because I haven't got the installed FPU in this one. So, yeah, 8,600 dry stones, guys. Beautiful. It's about 16 times faster than a stock Amiga 600. It's about double speed of the Amiga. 3000 with the 25 megahertz 030 and as you can see this is running 030 at 50 megahertz so it's pretty pretty accurate you know guys so really nice card Zorro 2 card and if we check out the RAM also here it sees 127 128 megabytes of uh, chip RAM it uses as as one complete RAM block I like that so beautiful card the Blizzard card can have 128 megs of fast RAM. The add-on card can have additional 128 megabytes. So, man, back in maybe, I don't know, 1996, I think this is from, 95, I mean, that's a kick-ass system. <laughs> that's just how I feel, guys. Yeah, works great, man, works great. I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Just a quick look at this beautiful card because I just love to show as much Amiga hardware and have it documented uh, on YouTube as possible. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I wish you a great, great day out there. Bye.